today on The Flush. Good job. We hunt Minnesota border birds in the forest and the prairie. Oh, there goes one. On one million acres of public ground, opportunities come. Oh, we got a point over here. To hunters willing to bushwhack. Behind epic dog work, this hunt ends with a shot at a rare Minnesota trophy. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. Jeff Bircham knows what it's like to live in the wild. He spent a lifetime here, protecting the land and the critters that call it home. A retired conservation officer, Jeff lives at Minnesota's Norris Camp in the center of Minnesota's largest piece of public land. There's just about a million acres. It's the most remote, largest wildlife management area in, in all of the state of Minnesota. During the Great Depression, this Norris camp housed workers in the name of conservation. Anywhere from two to 250 men would come here after the depression and, and work building roads, putting in trees, trying to bring power into the area. It was ran like a military camp. It was kind of a jump start for the depression. Today, these buildings remain an untouched piece of history. Outside, the forest offers perfect habitat for wild game and wild birds. Yet Jeff prefers to hunt the edge. Where this forest ends, sharp-tailed grouse soar. Yeah, they've always been a native bird here, uh, the sharp-tailed, one of the prairie grouse. It's our prairie bird that uh, we're pretty proud of. This stuff is just picture perfect. Behind Jeff's 12-year-old black lab bingo, our hunt begins. Bingo's hearing is gone, so he follows hand signals and his heart to hunt. Probably as good as dog as I've ever had. But he's gonna do the job for us. If we can hold up our end of it, he'll, he'll hold up his end. See that willow patch to the right? That, this is the best spot on this property. Sharp-tailed grouse in Minnesota are not like sharp-tailed grouse out west. These birds, a lot of times, will go into the thick cover like this. Whereas out west, it seems like the sharp-tailed grouse go to the high points, the sh this is the real short grass. So it's a little bit different hunt. Oh, there goes one. Wow. Wow. I got one down. You got one? Yeah. I got one here. <laughs> what a flush. Oh man, what a bird. Oh my goodness. I missed two birds <laughs> and then this one came. They held nice. Just, they, when, they, when they're in a heavier cover, they do sit nicer. Nice oh. adult bird. If my hunt ends right there, I'm okay with it. Good thing Bingo doesn't quit. Thank you, I think, oh. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Right up there. Oh, there goes one, right there. Oh, he's laughing at us. Oh, there there's goes. still Bingo, still get up there. Bingo's, Bingo's pumping him. Bird! No bird, no bird! My heart is pumping. <laughs> there's, there's more birds in here yet. Oh, oh there goes a deer, two deer. There's deer running out. The birds are flushing. Like, this is amazing. There goes one. We're picking these places apart 
willows, willows. The birds are not in the grass right now. They're all in the willows. Oh, bird. Oh, there it goes. I are never alone. They're never alone. Look at that. Upland birds can be wildly unpredictable. Woodcock! I was not ready for that one. It's just like my shooting. Oh. <laughs> no! I missed, I missed. Oh my gosh, that was too perfect! Oh. I think if you're just going into sharp tail hunting or any of the bird hunting for, for pure numbers, uh, you're, you're missing that whole experience. Jeff knows this experience can't be taken for granted. Chasing a deer poacher in the line of duty, a crash nearly took his life. Got the guys, we got them, my buddies yeah. got them. Yeah, but it wasn't worth it, yeah. wasn't worth it, but. The accident slows him. Anticipating a flush pushes him on. Mike, he's getting a little birdie over here. There goes one. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Yeah, just a beautiful bird, nice. Northwestern Minnesota sharp tail, holding that bird, admiring it. Every bird is a special bird, as it should be. On this northern prairie, nobody knows better than Jeff. I'm hunting birds near the Minnesota Ontario border. Oh, there goes one. Wow, what a flush. Up here, life revolves around wildlife and an iconic fish. On the shores of Lake of the Woods, the town of Baudette lays claim as the walleye capital of the world. Come fall, walleyes migrate from this massive lake, chasing shiners up the rainy river. They swim right past Borderview Lodge, a resort with a world-class walleye reputation. Nick Nelson guides here. He has one job, find walleyes and catch them. This is, this is my office now, a beautiful setting, good people, great fishing. Fish, look at all the fish, look at all those fish. Today I hope to hook a quick meal, followed by a big fight. That right there, walleye candy. I'm not greedy, it doesn't have to be 10 pounds. Nice one. That'll be a tasty walleye dinner. Out here, it's not really if or when, but how quick. Oh, you see him bouncing there? Oh gosh, there's one. No net needed? No net needed. <laughs> <laughs> that one will grow up someday to be something special. The future. The future looks bright. Another small one. A little bit bigger. A little bigger. They're the black dots are the giveaway there. Yep, that is classic sauger look right there. Did it just crush it like a great white shark? No, no, pretty timid. Mm, pretty timid. Happens when they're only 13 inches long. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Here we go. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. They are getting bigger. Walleye sandwich. With dinner in the box, we switch gears. I really want to battle the beast. Those are the fish we're after. <laughs> Those are dinosaurs. Sturgeon on this river grow massive. So it's simple as hook, line, and sinker. Got about a four ounce weight, we want that. That bait to stay perfectly still on the bottom, we don't want it moving around too much. A glob of night crawlers, maybe a couple shiner minnows on there, and see if they take the bait. Doesn't that look appetizing? Now we wait. And the anticipation builds. I think we got something going here. Oh yeah. Rod tip starts bouncing, and it's like, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then we're hooked up to something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little sturgeon. If I can reach him. 
Come here, buddy. There it is. It's a, a mini a, version. A mini little dinosaur. <laughs> they get they get a little bit bigger than that. Uh, I'll say I've that. I've seen them a little bit bigger, but <laughs> man, they're so cool. That's that leather that they have on them. And that's where the power comes, right there. That big tail. Pound for pound, they're probably one of the stronger fish that you can catch in fresh water. The sturgeon is almost a prehistoric fish. They kind of look like dinosaurs. And uh, yeah, they can, they can grow pretty old and they can get pretty big. Landing a giant takes time. Come on, baby. Got something there? I, I felt just a, like something ran into the line. And eat it. You big, beautiful beast. There it is, there it is, there it is. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Come here, you! Such a cool creature. Such a cool fish. If you look at their tail, a lot of them are just like this. I mean, this is a powerful little fish, and they get a lot bigger, a lot bigger. <laughs> but still, it's a cool creature. Not the biggest surgeon in the river, but still a surgeon. Now, about that time, October sunlight is flying by. I got my walleyes, caught a sturgeon. Time to get back into the woods. Hey, down. Thanks. Meadow Cowfield always hunts with a plan. I want to try some of these edges here in this lowland brush and maybe hit this wet aspen. Okay. She lives, breathes, and studies upland birds. Got my master's from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I was base camped out of Norris Camp, which is the headquarters for Red Lake Wildlife Management Area. Meadow now works for the Rough Grouse Society. Surrounded by nearly one million acres of public forest, she feels right at home. Red Lake is the largest WMA in our wildlife management system in Minnesota, and it is sprawling. It's huge. Aches gets the nod on this hunt. He's Meadow's two-year-old Deutsch Drotheart. He has a deadly nose and never misses a retrieve. The ultimate thing about Drotharts is that they are game recovery machines. Here, Aix. All of a sudden we hear, beep, 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 beep. We got a point. There we go, you see that? Yep. It's on point right now. Good boy, Aix. Nice shot, Meadow. Aix, dead bird. Atta boy, look at you, that's so special. Good boy, Drop. Good boy. All right. I obviously I love ruffed grouse, but woodcock has become my favorite over the last couple years. Boy. Yeah. Good boy. Woodcock are consistent and they're cooperative. You know, everything about them is cryptic. The colors are gorgeous, but they're really difficult to spot on the ground. That was picture perfect. You're like, okay, Aix, go right over there. Yeah. And he goes, oh yeah, he's on a point. All right. Well, he got birdie and then he was just you yeah. Know, just think right there. Today, we have a goal. Woodcock, rough grouse, and a spruce grouse. We'll go on this edge here. Nobody's a good chance we'll run into a grouse on these edges because there's a lot of diversity there. But. Rough grouse are hands down the hardest upland bird to hunt. They're super fast and they're, they fly through the thickest cover. They are skittish, they're crafty, they're um, very seldom do they hold. <laughs> the wind doesn't help. Okay, we're gonna hit this, there's a conifer edge over here and go back towards the trail and try and get into a little deeper where there should be more birds. But... Perfect. 
Come on, hunt them up. Meadow's constantly looking for different growth on the trees, different age groups, and really specifically looking for a certain cover. Young aspens, to be exact. All of a sudden, we just hear beep, 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 beep. We got a point. Oh, we got a point over here. It's right here. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, do not miss this opportunity. Good job. All right. <laughs> There's a nice bird. Ah, ah. Oh nice my bird. goodness. There Good go. job! <laughs> it's an amazing reward to actually bring one down over a dog. And so it is. They're very special. And I think every bird is just really special that you actually are able to harvest. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite game bird. Yeah. They are so tasty. They are. They are so difficult. They are. And when you get one, it's such a prize. It is. It's special. <laughs> I'm starting to think like. We just might be able to pull off this trifecta. Straight ahead, we try to lock down one of Minnesota's rarest game birds. We're on the final leg of our hunt in Minnesota's Red Lake Wildlife Management Area. This massive forest offers bird hunters a chance at a trifecta. So far, we've bagged two. Meadow Cowfield from the Rough Grouse Society might know this land better than anyone. Meadow spent two years in this forest getting her master's degree. She is dialed in on these birds. This is Mino. She's a six and a half year old Deutsch Drothar, and uh, she's my most consistent dog. Mina gives us a fighting chance at locking down a spruce grouse, the last bird on our bucket list. So this is just the kind of forest that they're in, is this young to mid-aged jack pine here in this area. And, and even if your dog doesn't find them, they could be a few feet above your head just watching you go by. And there are not many of them to begin with, so it's kind of a unicorn hunt, but. There went a bird. What's that? Bird. All of a sudden, we got a point, and everything just picks up pace. What's going on, Meadow? Well, there it is. Here's, here's a spruce oh, yeah. grouse. Yep, I see it, I see it. Okay. There you go. Get it? Nope. Hummer. Oh, no, I shot right over the top. Really? Oh, gosh. Ah, we just kept on going. All of a sudden, mine again. Beep, 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 beep. There it is, I see it. You see it? Okay. A little low there. I don't think I hit it, though. Elusive. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually gonna happen. She's on point. She's on point. We hear the beeping and then all of a sudden we see Mina and she's just staring up into the tree. She's looking straight up at it. Yep. Okay. Look at that though. Still don't see it, but it's she's looking at it. That's incredible. That dog is incredible. Where did the bird go, though? We cannot find this bird. I can't believe this bird would hold this tight either with all the commotion after it's been pushed a couple times. Hanuma, that's a girl, good girl. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah! All right! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. Good girl, Mina. Come here. Oh, man. Mina, drop. 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 Good girl. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Holy cow. You only get one chance for a first in life. That was my first 
spruce grouse. Thank you. Thank you. That was quite, quite what a, a hunt. cool bird. It's just one of those, I don't know how to put words to it type of moments. What a moment, what a place. Yeah, well, it's, it is a special place. And a special bird, just beautiful. Sharp-tailed grouse, rough grouse, spruce grouse, woodcock, walleyes, and sturgeon. This is an outdoor lover's paradise.